So we've just completed an epic expedition in the desert and we're preparing our paramotors to take them back to the UK. And I thought it'd be useful to put a short video on explaining how you do that. So the first thing you need to do is drain the fuel. That's pretty obvious. So you're gonna run it until the fuel burns out, but there's still fuel in the line, okay? So you're gonna upend your paramotor and you're gonna do this all the day before you actually pack it up because what you need to do after you've drained your fuel is then take off the fuel cap, take off the spark plug and take out the fuel filter in order to allow it to breathe and get rid of that smell. Useful tool, very cheap, coat hanger, put a little hook on the end and what you need to do is you need to find your fuel line, which will have a filter on the end. And as you can see, we've taken that off and put this little red cap on. It's a bit fiddly, but once you get in there, you can hook the fuel line, pull it up, and then just keep it on the outside with this little cap on. You'll also notice I put another little red cap in where the spark plug would be, and a little sponge in the exhaust and I've given it a bit of a clean as well. We've got these industrial wipes. These are really useful. So give it a clean, make it, make it look nice and shiny, yeah, which is good to do anyway. Once you've removed your spark plug, your fuel line, and your fuel filter, you're gonna bag them up, okay? You're gonna put them in a sealable bag. I've also taken off my, my prop hub, uh, and you can see my fuel cap. This is a great top tip. Um, which comes from Kester Haynes at Parajet. These are tumble dryer sheets. Um, they look a bit like this, from Tesco, finest. And they smell nice and fresh. And they're obviously designed to make your clothes smell good. But in this case, they make your paramotor smell really good and gets rid of that fuel smell. So one of these tumble dryer sheets, I've also got them put over the air intake of the carb. So that goes on like that. And you're just gonna put your air filter back on gently so it sits and just, yet again, covers up that, that fuel smell. And now we are ready to package this paramotor into the very useful Parajet Maverick travel case. Even though this is a nice padded protective case, you know that it's gonna get chucked around all over the place. So what we've done is taken a bit of foam and we've cable tied it over the prop hub here, where the prop would be, the reduction system. And then we're gonna take a bit of foam and put them at the end of, or each side of the frame. And now it's gonna pad that out. You're gonna take a few of these fantastic tumble dryer pads and stick them in. Make it smell really good. Try, if possible, to get it underneath the 32 kilo limit, because mm, some airlines uh, make your life really difficult. But one way to get your weight a little bit lower is to take off your reserve. It's gonna save you maybe a kilo and a half, two kilos. On this harness, you can actually unzip it uh, and take off the Velcro and just put it in a separate bag. If you are struggling to actually remember how to take all this off and, and put it back together, one bit of advice is to film and video the parameter before you take it apart and then refer back to that and almost reverse engineer it in order to put it back together as it should be. It is fairly simple, but it is quite time consuming. It'll take you maybe an hour uh, in order to get everything prepped and get it ready. And then when you check it in, it's strictly sports equipment for paragliding. Do not use the word motor or engine. As we all know, the greatest thing about parametering is its transportability. So hopefully this has made it a little bit easier for you to take your Parajet Maverick with you wherever you go around the world and make the most of this fantastic sport.